Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So the last episode, you know what we did, we went and got 18 emitters. That is part of the All The Mods star. It's right there. So we got one component down. Uh, I should probably add that on there as well. So these are kind of all the di different parts that we need to get, like loads of. Uh, so the Dragon Soul, that's the first one that I was looking at. This looks kind of easy enough. Uh, can we not just... Uh, this one, there we go. If we look in here, we are missing the inactive dragon egg, even though, remember, I made a load of those. I didn't, because that's when I did the crash. So, let's just make... Okay, we can make ten. But that's because I haven't combined these yet. So, let's go all the way up to eighteen. There you go, perfect. So we've got that component now. We've got only two dragon scale, so we might need to go get some more dragon scale. We've got enough of the other dragon scale, the one from Mystical Agriculture. We've got the piglitch hearts. I haven't got the soul gem yet, so that might be on the list for today. Along with the summoning focus. In fact, no it isn't, because I don't want to do the dragon soul today. Because I would rather do that when we've done a little bit of Blue Skies. Also, I believe in all the mod 7 at least, this thing and maybe this thing because they're both from Blue Skies, they don't get used up in the recipe. So we might have to do, I don't know, some crafter, a crafting recipe for this. So you know like what, what we've done down here. Uh, where is it? Over here. So like, what we've done here, why is that not exporting? Ah, oh, I didn't put it in a flipping recipe. Excellent. Right, apply. There you go, that's, that's just um, what I've done for the uranite essence. Oh, I'm glad I checked that, because otherwise uh, I'd be like, where's all my uranite? Uraninite. I've still got a decent amount. To be fair, so yeah, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so we could we could do this recipe right here for this because otherwise they would ask for like, you know, if we ask for eighteen of these, it would ask for eighteen of the nature's arc and eighteen of the poisonous arc, but we don't need to use eighteen of them, right? We've got we could just use the one eighteen times. So yeah, we'd have to use a crafting recipe for that. So I'm going to check that one off for today, and we'll come back to that, because I don't fancy doing Blue Skies today. One day I will fancy doing it, I swear, but today, no. <laughs> uh, the next one on the list is the Oblivion Shard. Now, this one requires Nature's Aura, and again, I don't really fancy Nature's Aura today, so we'll, uh, we'll pass up on that one. Now, here's the juicy one. The juicy boy right here. We've got Wither Compass. Now the Wither Compass is the one that took the longest for me in all the mod 7. Because when I was playing all the mod 7 at least. There wasn't the um, wasted radioactive bees. And I had the weakest little reactor going. <laughs> so it wasn't the best. Uh, but what we've got here is I've got the ability to make these, and I am making them. Right now it's just processing the ultimate induction providers. These things are the things that take the lithium dust, and it takes 1,500, just over 1,500, to make three of these. So that's like just over 500 to make one of the... Uh, what do you call it? It's one of the gravitational units. We aren't actually going to keep a gravitational unit for ourselves this time because we can use an angel ring. So we might as well make an angel ring if we want to do that. I'm kind of loving the, uh, you know, the uh, jetpack. So I might not do that even <laughs> for now. We'll come back to that. Uh, what I I've just programmed all of those bits in. So what I need to do for this is also program in the wither builder. Shouldn't be that bad. 
lob that in there. There's also a recipe for another start, which is this one. I don't know if I've programmed it in there, in there yet. So let's another star. Uh, can I? No, I can't. So what I can do, pop that in like that. And now I can make some nether stars. There you go, just got 64. It's because we're getting these generalized. In fact, let's have a look. Gen. We've got 1800. So we could do 1800 nether stars. Now, from what I remember, they removed that recipe in all the mod 7 after they remembered about it. So. I could do that now and <laughs> sort of save myself 1800 like cycles of the the wither but I'm not I, I'm not gonna cheese it I'm gonna not do that one yet now the heart of the deep is from <laughs> okay the deep deep and deeper and darker mod and that adds a drop so you can't even see it if I do that you can see the top of his head there he is this is from uh, the new boss, the Warden, because he doesn't actually drop anything in the main game, I don't believe. Now, I'm still wondering if I want to do that, if I could, if I should just level up my Morgan a little bit. So, I have got my diamond. Uh, oh, this is good as well. I, I put down like this. Okay, so it didn't do a... There we go. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over here. <laughs> so that got us... Ooh, nearly 10 more attack, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, where was that? That is over there. Yeah, right. I'm just getting somewhere where it's not that loud. Uh, what I plan on doing now is... Getting some wool. Someone actually mentioned this, and I completely forgotten this was a thing. But you can put wool on. Eh. There we go. And then, eh. Now they're silent? Well, they're supposed to be silent. I think when they die, they're not silent. But now I can zoom back out like that. one of those and we can run over there. Can you just run outside? No, okay. We go put these on the rest of them as well. And there we go. It's a lot quieter now if I'm walking down here. Other than the me picking up the experience. You don't hear a thing. Huh. I love that. Uh I can do one more of those and that'll give us a little bit mahal and 68 I still don't think that's enough so we might not do this one either even though we're working on oh we've done it grav oh blimey can't type today gravitational units oh conflicts with jetpack unit that's fine we don't have a jetpack unit there is a gravitational unit, another one, there's an additional unit that we can sort of look at. Provides better features, apparently. But I believe, yeah, you need one of these to begin with. And then you can add that as well. And that can go on your, your body as well. But maybe we look into that. Why the heck not? I don't think it's a bad recipe. That doesn't look that bad, does it? So we can, because uh, the reason I'm saying that is because we can uh, take this out of our suit when we're done with it. In fact, I might take the jetpack off and we'll put that in the backpack for now. So I just put it back on myself instead of in the backpack. I know, there it is. Sweet. Right, where's the uh, gravitational? There it is, additional gravitational. This one doesn't take like barely anything at all. Stick that one on. And then we can stick that one on as well. No idea what this does. But now, this is something that I 
kind of wanted to do, you know, I always say I'm not going to do, um, like, the, uh, this thing, the muffler tool. Uh, and I'll only do it if there's no, like, other way. And there is no other way of turning off the little hum you get when you hover. So, let me... Gravitational? There you go. I will mute that one, because I, I'm not a big fan of that. But there we go, we've got Creative Flight. It's <laughs> pretty cool. I don't know what the additional options are. Does it just stop you? Like, it just stops you in place. That must be the additional, like, gravitational unit thing. Because I'll show you what it's like without that. If we go back down here. Ah, oh, so weird. So we can remove that. Uh, oh, we need to put that back on. Thank you. So if you... Like, this is me. I've let go of the keyboard and I'm still moving. And then... Let's have a look at that one again. Let go of the keyboard. I instantly stop. That is so weird. I actually quite like that. That's really good for building. Because sometimes that little, like... Especially when you're building like this... Ooh, when you're like, tick, 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 tick. I don't know, that's just, well, lovely. Right, we can keep this on for a bit because uh, we don't need it until we're going to make, oh, we need to make 18 wither compasses. So we actually need like 200 antimatter. That does remind me, I need to go check on the bees. Let's just break that and we should get a bit more radiation in here. Maybe turn that on for a bit. Ah. That actually had some of the, uh, the nasty radioactive waste in there. And I believe this has stopped, so the, the other bee place has stopped producing bees. We have got, like, kind of a lot of bees right here. I'm not entirely sure what would happen if I put simulation upgrades in these. But I feel like that wouldn't work. Let me know if I'm wrong, though, because... That would mean less lag. Just because then they're not in the world flying about. Oh, that is such a strange feeling, like just stopping <laughs> wherever I am. Right, anyway, so we've got that that's checked off the list because we're not going to do that today. We could work on some of these. So what is that? The lightning bomb. Lightning grenade. So it's been some time. And by some time, I mean a lot of time. I probably just have like an hour of clips of me looking through, <laughs> trying to figure out how to get this uh, th this thing here, the lightning grenade, uh, for the lightning bomb. And Evil Craft, I don't think it has... Well, to be fair, I, I'm just really bad at reading the resources, but Evil Craft doesn't have like an amazing guide on it yet. I might do a guide for it. I don't know. It's just really difficult to find like resources for it. So, I originally thought that we were going to need a weather collector. Also, I put my jetpack back on and I've got my uh, <laughs> gravitational unit because if you have them both on and I do hover, you can go really, really fast and then you just stop instantly. So it's just a way of speeding up. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say is, um, uh, yeah, that's still quite confusing, but anyway, I went through the whole rigor ramol, or however you say it. Uh, I went through a lot of stuff to get this thing here. The Garmon Bozia. Garmon Bozia. Pain and sorrow. So this thing, you need a promise of tenacity tier 3. I made one of those. Uh, that took quite a lot, because to make one of these, you need to get a diamond promise acceptor. You need to get the gold one. 
and to get the gold one you also need to spend like loads of blood so I went and got loads of blood did all of that I've got loads of clips of that but I'm not going to show it because it's just me going like I don't get it what's going on with this mod the main thing is this thing here the vengeance essence so I'll just quickly go over how you get that because it wasn't obvious to me and it might be because I, I'm just I have no idea why <laughs> but so if I get a yoinker and we go get ourselves, I don't know, a piggy because we've got loads of piggies and I was using this area as my little kill area but what you do is you activate this ring it's pretty cool, gives you like a load of things like jump boost, uh, some speed, invisibility, haste. Not a bad, not a bad little ring. It does cause like these little spirits to come and attack you and stuff. But uh, one thing you can do is if you've got this thing, I don't even know if you need it activated, but you could have it non-activated. I'm going to activate it because that's how I did it last time uh, off camera. But what you can do is you can... <sighs> Kill something and it has like a uh, a ghost. Oh, okay, the ghost just disappeared. It went right at me. So I need a new one of those. But what you do is you kill it and then you kill it again. Uh, with this thing here, which is a piercing vengeance focus thing. So, eh? And then you shoot it with this. And eventually it will die, like that. And you get yourself a Vengeance Essence, plus you get some of the stuff that they would drop. Uh, you can, I'm going to turn this off and put this in my backpack again, because uh, I don't really want those <laughs> to spawn the Vengeance Spirits. You can uh, use the, what are they called? I don't know if I've got any in here. So, Vengeance, no. Hashtag Vengeance. So you can use these uh, box of eternal closure. Uh, let's have a look at the crafting recipe for this. So you need some potions of weakness and an ender chest. Uh, but you can use these to trap souls in there. And if you use the other uh, focus thing. So there's a piercing focus, but there's also this focus right here. This one allows you to like push any spirit that you killed. So like if an Enderman died and I had my, my ring on, uh, it would have like a, a spirit and you could push the spirit into uh, one of those like boxes. It's a bit like Ghostbusters at that point. And then in that box, you can use the box to make spawn eggs pretty much from what I've seen. There's one guide on it that's from like seven years ago and not much has changed. So... Props to the mob developer for this, because, uh, yeah, really good. But anyway, what I was saying is, I assumed that we'd need one of these, the sanguine or sanguinary environmental accumulator. I forgot that cardboard box, I didn't forget, I just didn't, uh, like, I assumed you couldn't do this, but you can get an environmental accumulator with a cardboard box. So you can just go and pick one up. You can find these in like structures all around the place and oh, you can lob one of those on there and it will, there you go, get yourself some uh, weather containers. Now I did just do this at night because that way I can sleep and get rid of the rain but what we could do is uh, also put one of these in here once this is charged up. So. This environmental accumulator. Once this is charged up over here, we could chuck another one on and get like the rain one. So this, my only sunshine one. In fact, I didn't realize that this was in here. So you can get some glowstone dust and the uh, the rain one. Ah, oh, that's really good. I need to make more of these. Uh, and you can make yourself the Thunderstruck one. So that's so much easier than what I originally had. I've probably got like three episodes worth of me just going like, I don't know, I don't get it. What what the heck's going on? Uh, I don't know if this is charged now because it's still black. Interesting. 
Let's give that a go at least. Nope. There we go. There you go. And that turns it back to non-rain. Yeah, and then this is going to charge up again. So I might need to make... I, I need three of these, basically. Because uh, I need three lightning... Three sets of lightning grenades to make... 18 of these uh, lightning bombs. That's basically what I'm going for right now. So we could actually... Not that one. Oh, it's using glass there, so it was a bit laggy. But oh, we got a Thunderstruck one. This, by the way, we can use to change like the, uh, the weather to be uh, a thunderstorm. Which might be quite useful later on. If we need it for something. But at least we know how to do it. I'm waiting for this to charge so I can turn it back to rain. And then we can get more of these. Okay, so we've got this one here. Or th this set right here. We'll turn it from sunny to raining. And get us the uh, My Only Sunshine weather container. And then these two will turn it back from raining to sunny. And then we can use the raining ones to make these there you go to to make the thunderstruck ones and we need these for the uh the little lightning grenades and that'll be that one done so i can if i can actually get it on there there we go lob that one on and there we go now it's raining again just gotta wait for this to charge and so on and so on you know what never mind we're just gonna let it rain because we can turn these into the uh the rain ones it doesn't say it there but like that. So the my only sh sunshine can turn into when it rains. Wait, when the rain begins to fall. And then we could turn those into the thunderstruck one. One of those. And then... There you go. We got our three that we need. Now it's just ender pearls. Perfect. That's all we needed to do. My goodness, I spent so much time just faffing this episode already. <laughs> That's why I cut out most of it, because... I don't know, I just... Uh, it didn't... It wasn't interesting to me, so I didn't want to, like... Uh, like, give you guys a bad experience, too. Anyway, we got the lightning bombs. Nice. Let's get rid of all of that. All you need to do is go get a cardboard box... And a cardboard box, one of these uh, environmental accumulators. Or, you could just make some of those bottles and use it where you are. And you can convert them all back to whichever one you fancy anyway. Like from the raining one to the sunny one, and the sunny one to the raining one, and so on and so on. I am just going to make it... Uh, why are you still raining? What the heck is that? Oh, I didn't mean to kill you. Did I just... That was confusing. I'm so confused by that. Anyway, um... I was trying to make it so it's not raining anymore, but it doesn't look like it's going to stop. So what I'm going to do is just sleep through the day. And that should stop it from raining. And there we go. All good. Yeah, so just get yourself an environmental accumulator and do all of that. And then you'll get yourself the evil craft stuff you need. At least I know how that works now. Uh, I don't even remember which one we were working on. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. So it's this one. Right, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Uh, we need a nuke, quantum ring, micro missile from Pneumaticraft. That'd be good. A vial of searing ex expulsion? Expulsion. Gem dust. Gem dust is obtained by dropping any... Apotheosis, I'm not even going to, yeah, gem in the world and making an anvil fall, an anvil block fall onto it. Ah, okay. That 
apotheosis. We got a few. We could look into like adding these to things. I think what I want to do is not do that quite yet. But apparently, the affixes that you can get. Whoa, look at that one. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Amazing. Right, yeah, so the affixes you can get. So like uh, this one here, for example. It, this is a legendary affix, and it's got an empty slot. So we could actually put like one of these gems in in this. I think I need to do more research before we even like get into ripping all the affixes off. But apparently, I don't know if... Somebody said that they put it on their jetpack on the Discord. Uh, I've, I've been on the All The Mods 8 Discord a little bit recently. Not too much. Uh, I mean, when I've got five minutes whilst I'm editing and stuff, I kind of pop in there. Or if I have a question, they're always really, really helpful on, on the Discord. So I've, I've popped in there a couple of times. Um, and somebody did show that the jetpack from Mechanism, which you can't normally, like, enchant, can have an affix. So I'm wondering if the mech suit can have affixes. But again, I, I'm not going to do that today. So I might leave this one for now, but it looks like we could easily do that. Thick potion. Oh, okay. That doesn't look too bad. Magma cream we can do. All of that we can do, basically. We might need to go get some more gems, but that should be fine. We'll just go, I don't know, into the end, maybe. Like That one there looks pretty good. Step height. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to the end. We'll kill a couple of uh, Endermen. They do seem to drop them quite a lot. So that's that one good. Infinity Nuke. I don't know how you make one of those. Infinity... Oh, hello. Wrong one. Infinity... Am I spelling that wrong? Oh, I'll put the I first. Infinity... Nuke. There you go, that's how you make it. So you need 2,000 ether gas. Flipping heck. And the tier 12 add-on. The rest of it seems fine, but the ether gas and the add-on, how much ether gas do we have? Never mind, we've got a ton. <laughs> uh man. Okay, well, we can program this at least. Program that. We don't have a TNT thing right now, so... Uh, and how do we make the range? Add on range. Add on 12 range, one of those. Cool. This should be all we need to do. So if we pop down here and go over to our dissolution chamber. Oh, no, wrong one. Let's go back up here. Let's make 12 of these first. And just watch that happen. There you go. 12 are going through. This should make us the nukes. Uh, you might have noticed as well, but that's not just a regular recipe. It's a pressure chamber recipe. So that's a bit of pneumatic craft. So we might have to do some pneumatic craft soon. I think I'm going to hold off on that until we've got a few other bits sort of sorted. So we also need to make these missiles. Interesting. We need to make some finished PCBs. That's why I got some villagers, because I'm going to use the... <laughs> I'm going to cheese it with the villager, because I never like doing... I don't know, maybe we should set it up. That would be uh, quite an interesting way of doing it. So how many do we need? We need one per one of these. I think we should do that. Maybe next episode, what we'll do is a new Mattercraft episode, because it's a fantastic mod, so we should definitely look at it at least. Uh, we've got the nuke. I think this is used in other like things that are needed. Is there a nuke in this one? Yeah, there's a nuke in this one, see? So that's like feeding two birds with uh, one scone right there, so that's a good one right there. 
So we can make that recipe, we can make that recipe. That one is a canning machine, so we do need a new machine for that. So that's a processing recipe. These are all non-processing, they're just crafting. And we need a canning machine. Uh, we could just make one of these, I suppose. There we go. Um, where do I put this? White concrete. Okay, so there's nothing on this side here. So we could put it right here. And that's going off of the one geothermal that we've got. And I could put another crafter right here. And then have the importer on the back. I think that would work. Right, there we go. That should be all we need to do. Now, if I pop back up and put this in my other crafters. Like right here. Can we just do nuke? Start. Missing uranium dust. Ah, I need to actually remove uranium dust from this uh, creative thing then. Because uh, if we make some, it will instantly put it in here. Eh, there we go. So, we also need a recipe for actually making the uranium dust. So, enrichment? No, crusher. Let's pop this in here. I might actually upgrade this one to be like a, a netherite crafter, because it's a little slow. But now if we do nuke and do just a single one, it should start processing. There we go. Right, and with that, I did make one, by the way. Yeah, one of them finished. And I also finished all of the infinite nukes, whatever you call them, these things. Uh, I accidentally put one of these in my uh, inventory, which charged it up. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea. I might have to make a fresh one, but it is fine. Easy enough to make. Uh, but I'm going to call that for today's episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Over 5,000 of the copper plates to be made. 681 dense copper plates. Flipping it. That's going to take a while.